San Francisco 49ers Kyle Shanahan just met with local media and gave some pretty substantial updates in regard to some key players' health and when they plan on returning after the big win against Dallas. So let's get right into it because we've already discussed Christian McCaffrey on the day. It started out with Adam Schefter talking about how the plan is is to get Christian McCaffrey into some practices. Uh, there's a bonus practice that the 49ers will have uh, you know, during the bye week, which is right now. And then the plan is, is no setbacks. He'll be able to practice next week and potentially be ready to play against the Bucs. Kyle Shanahan confirms that is very true. The 49ers plan to simulate practice conditions, which means I think CMC is going to go kind of through his own practice. I, I really do think that's the case. I think they're going to run him through drills. They're going to run him just like it was a mock practice, but it's just Christian McCaffrey out there to make sure he responds well, to then put him in a group setting where he will have to be a little bit more reactive, obviously having to make cuts when you have players coming in and out all over the place. So this is a phenomenal sign. It was reported earlier that Christian McCaffrey has not suffered any setbacks, but Kyle Shanahan confirms he will be able to go through this simulated practice in during the bye week, which puts him, and if he go, gets through that, he is expected to return in full the following week, which means he has a real, real chance at playing against the Bucks, This is not a drill. We finally made it with all the stuff that's been going on with Christian McCaffrey. Wow. We, we heard it directly from the coach, and so this is absolutely huge. Another big name that the San Francisco 49ers intend to get back, Jawan Jennings. We know he's missed the last two weeks with a hip injury, but it does appear that Jawan Jennings will be good to go for the San Francisco 49ers, and he will be ready to go face off against the Bucks. You talk about two big weapons who have proven to be a very important pieces to the San Francisco 49ers offense returning in both CMC and Jawan Jennings. Obviously, with Brandon Ayuk's injury, Jawan's, Jawan Jennings' absence has been felt even more. But again, it's also given some opportunity to guys like Ricky Pearsall, Jacob Cowing, to be able to get in there and to be able to get some much-needed game reps. I mean, listen, the NFL comes at you fast, and you got to be prepared and ready to go. And those guys were, and I think it's going to, to pay dividends later on in the season but let's get into some of the injuries to come out from the game uh, against the dallas cowboys jordan mason uh banged up with a shoulder injury uh this is the one he's been dealing with for the last couple weeks now kyle shanahan did say that he re-aggravated the injury so uh we'll have to see what jordan mason's status is um on the opposite side of the bye. Thankfully, they have time to be able to let him rest, get back, and guess what? If Christian McCaffrey is in the lineup, you have the opportunity not to run Jordan Mason so hard, and you also got to tip your cap to Isaac Garendo. Isaac Garendo has been really playing well, and he hasn't even hit his full potential and man, you have the opportunity to have a three-headed monster here really quickly with Christian McCaffrey, Jordan Mason, and Isaac Garendo, where you feel comfortable with either three of those running backs. And that just hasn't been the case with the San Francisco 49ers behind CMC these last couple years. So uh, uh, again, not great that CMC was out, but man, you got some very crucial snaps to some guys who probably wouldn't have got them if CMC was fully healthy. So Jordan Mason to be reevaluated after the bye. Same goes for Debo Samuel. Debo Samuel dealing with a rib, kind of oblique injury. I believe it was the hit at the goal line where he kind of got tackled by the base and then got hit in the chest and kind of bent him back. That seems to be the play where he got injured. That's purely speculation at this point. Um, just my best guess. 
Uh, but it does sound like he is only day to day. So he should probably good to go um, on the other side of the buy. Same thing applies to him. They will reevaluate him next week as they head into practice uh, to get ready for the Bucks. But he is expected to be good to go. And Chris Connolly, Chris Conley is actually week to week uh, with a, a hamstring injury, it appears. So. Again, one of the reasons why I think, you know, I've mentioned it today on Twitter, but I do think the 49ers should be active in trading for a wide receiver. Not because I don't think the 49ers don't have wide receivers that are any good. I think Ricky Pearsall, Jacob Cowing have a ton of prom promise. Obviously, Juwan Jennings coming back, Debo Samuel. But you can see how quickly guys can get banged up. And what you don't want is to be heating up at the back end of this of this season, and you're relying on practice squad wide wide receivers. So obviously, uh, this door opens because Brandon Ayuk's injury. So I do think the 49ers should be active in the the trade market. I don't think you necessarily need to go out and get a marquee name. I don't think you necessarily need to go out and spend a ton. I think you really need to be smart, be able to find a value to be able to trade for a wide receiver, six-round draft pick, seventh-round draft pick, you get a guy with a veteran presence who can come in and operate your system and, and provide something, That that's all we're looking for is much better than having to call someone up from the practice squad that has barely played. Um, would rather have someone in here that actually uh, has a veteran presence, has had success in this league, and could be someone that – you could potentially rely on in a pinch because again, just as we've seen, we, we, you know, knock on wood, uh, only serious injury that they've had so far is to, uh, Brandon Ayuk. But again, Jawan Jennings missed two games. Debo Samuel missed a game. Chris Conley hamstring. Those things can, can sneak up on you. And we've seen the rookie wide receivers banged up early on in the season as well. So something to keep in mind. Um, also, they did provide a little bit of an update on Dre Greenlaw. Nothing really substantial. Basically, it sounds like they aren't really thinking about Dre Greenlaw until after the bye week. It sounds like after the bye week, they will then start to kind of reevaluate where they see Dre Greenlaw and where they can uh, push him moving forward. So I think as it currently stands, uh, no current timetable for return for Dre Greenlaw, but they could uh, theoretically look at what his availability looks like um, when they kind of get into November. So um, I would say based on that particular time frame, if we could get Dre Greenlaw back December 1st, Week 13 versus the Bills, I will take it. Um, but that is your update, pretty substantial one. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.